back to my channel. So today I am doing a highly requested video. Ever since I posted on Instagram that I received the original Kylie Jenner lip kits, you guys wanted to get dupes and stuff like that because they're every time they're back in stock, they are so hard to get hold of. I'm not even sure how I got hold of them, whether or not they were sent to me or whether or not orders that I thought I put through did actually go through, even though I didn't. But so I only have the Candy K, Dolce K and True Brown K. I don't have the three new ones that she came out with, but I do have dupes for them just by going off the swatches that I've seen on Instagram. Um, hopefully these are more like affordable ones, like options as well, and a lot more accessible for you guys so you guys can get the colours. Um, yeah, so let's get started. So the one that I found the most dupes for was Candy K. So Candy K is the lightest one of the original three. It's definitely more of like a pink toned nude. This is definitely my favourite liquid lipstick out of them all. The Dolce K one on me is just slightly too dark. But the amazing thing about these is that they smell phenomenal. They smell like vanilla and Candy K is definitely more of a colour for... It's going to be more of like a darkish, pinkish nude on colours more like me. If you're a bit more tanned, it'll be more of that everyday nude. And obviously if you're dark, it'll be more of like a paler pink. So the dupes that I found for that are the Ofra Liquid Lipstick in Pasadena. So I do have a code with Ofra and it's Rachel Leary and that entitles you to 30% off. So you can get it for even more affordable of a more affordable price also the NYX soft matte lip cream in Abu Dhabi and MAC lipstick in velvet teddy which I'm pretty sure because of her anyway um I think one of her makeup artists said ages ago that she wore velvet teddy and it's like one of the most popular matte lipsticks MAC lipsticks that there is so I'm gonna show you now them all side by side so this one here obviously is the original I think the closest one is probably MAC velvet teddy which I'm kind of glad about because I think MAC is kind of the most accessible brand for most people and their lipsticks are only £15.50 so it's not too bad even though velvet teddy is one of those shades that is kind of out of stock in most places at the moment so this one is velvet teddy this one is the NYX soft matte lip cream so probably the most affordable one out of them all and again probably um more accessible because you can get NYX from a lot of places now like if you're from the UK you can get it from Selfridges or there's a NYX UK website obviously there's a NYX American website there's Amazon loads of different places and then this one is the Ofra one um, the lights kind of making them seem a bit more offish but on my hand they do all look extremely similar this one obviously is in the shade Pasadena none of them quite have the same pigmentation and formula as the Kylie lip kits which is a shame but if you really like the colour then these are the three that I own that I found to be the most similar. Moving on to Dolce K, this one's probably been the most popular I thought um, just on social media and seeing people wearing it. I'm not so much a fan of the liquid lipstick because it's just a bit too dark on me but the pencil of this one is my absolute favourite. I am in love with the Dolce K pencil. I'm like sparingly using it because I don't want it to run out because I don't know when I'll be able to get hold of it again. But this one was actually surprisingly a, quite a unique shade. I struggled to find one in my collection that was the same and I only managed to find one alternative for this one. So as you can see, it's more of that dark brown nude color. So on people that are a lot more tanned than me or even on a darker skin, this would look absolutely beautiful as that kind of like everyday nude colour. I think that's why it's so popular just because it's kind of that perfect colour for overlining your lips as well. So the dupe that I found for this one is the MAC lipstick in Whirl. Again, probably one of their most popular ones including the pencil because the pencil was so popular. Again, I think by Kylie Jenner it was made popular. But as you can see they are pretty close in colour. If you can't get hold of the lipstick, obviously the lipstick was based off of the colour of the pencil. So if you've got the pencil, just drawing that all over your lip, you'll get the same sort of colour. Again, the consistency is not so it's not the same. The Kylie lip kits go on obviously a lot smoother and creamier because they're a liquid lipstick, but um the Whirl liquid lipstick from well, the Whirl lipstick from MAC is a matte finish, so hopefully they both last a longer time. And I think the formula of the matte lipsticks at MAC um are a bit more comfortable because the Kylie Jenner lip kit, the original formula, I think people said it was a bit dry, but apparently her newer ones are amazing. They both have a really nice smell to them, if that makes a difference, but that is the one that I found to be the closest. If you can't get hold of Dolce K lipstick, 
well lipstick from MAC is a good alternative. Moving on to True Brown K. This one's actually quite a unique brown shade. I thought this would be quite easy to find a dupe for because I thought most brands are similar. Like I have some of the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks and I tried the brown one next to that. But this one is really a true brown. Some of the other ones that I found are a bit more red. So as you can see on me, this is a real, like I said, true brown. Um, the only... I only found two alternatives to this one and one of them is a pencil. Sometimes pencils all over the lips can feel a bit dry but if you put like a lip primer on underneath that should help but because it's a matte finish they should last just as long. So the two dupes that I found for True Brown K are the Ofra Liquid Lipstick in Brooklyn and the NYX Lip Liner Pencil in Rose Brown. So let me swatch them next to True Brown K so you can see. So this is the Ofra Liquid Lipstick in Brooklyn and this is the pencil in Rose Brown. I think the MAC Pro Longwear Lip Pencil in Bittersweet um, is a really nice true brown colour which I think would be a good dupe as well if you wanted that brown lip. But yeah, so this one was actually quite a hard one because the brown shade is so unique. And a lot of people are scared to wear brown. I think it looks absolutely stunning, especially on more tan skins, like I said. Um, this one would look absolutely stunning. So if you can't get hold of True Brown K, even though when I was on her website, that was actually the one that was left in stock. Definitely try these as an alternative. And like I said with the Ofra lipsticks, you can use the code Rachel Leary on their website to get 30% off. So the other three shades that she came out with for Valentine's Day was a red, a more lightish nude, and a pink. So the red was Mary Jo, or Mary J? Mary Jo K. The nude was Coco K and the pink was Posy K. I don't own those three as of yet, but going off of swatches and what I found, I found three of the sleek matte liquid lipsticks to be what well, I'm going off of pictures to be really good dupes. So starting with Mary Jo K, it's quite like a blood red. I'll try and insert like a screenshot of it here and then I'll put a swatch of this on my hand next to it so you can see. So as you can see, it's just like a true red liquid lipstick. A lot of companies do this, but I found that this one to kind of be the closest match to that specific shade of red. And plus it is from the drugstore and super affordable. So if, um, so you can still kind of get that Mary Jo K vibes, but at a lot more of affordable price. And the sleek liquid lipsticks are actually some of my favorite drugstore ones. They go on so nicely and they last the longest time. So this one I wore in a tutorial as well. So that is Roha Red from Sleek as a dupe for Mary Jo K. Moving on to Posy K, that was definitely more of her pink nude kind of rosy pink kind of colour. And one that I found is Birthday Soup from Sleek as well. So this one is kind of more of a nudier pink than I think the one that she's got. I think the closest um, thing might actually be Saw Pencil from MAC. If you've got that one all over the lip that I think from looking at it on Kylie in her Snapchats, that's kind of the colour I instantly thought of. But if you wanted a liquid lipstick, this one looks good as well. So I'll try and insert a clip or like an in a picture of Posy K there and then show you this one. So this one's kind of a bit more of a nudier pink, I think. Hers is a bit more like rosy, but Saw might be a bit closer, but in terms of liquid lipsticks, this was the one that I found to be the kind of closest. This one also might be, I was, the two that I've got here, I was kind of tossing up between Coco K and um, Posy K just because I've seen so many kind of different shades of the colour on people's Instagrams, like swatch wise, so it was hard to find one exactly the same, but this one is pretty close. So this one is Birthday Suit Liquid Lipstick from Sleek as a Posy K dupe. Finally, on to the last one, Coco K. From a few of the swatches that I've seen, it definitely looks more like a pale pink kind of colour. So the one that I found is the Petal Liquid Lipstick from Sleek. So this one, again, like I said, is more of that paler pink colour. I'm not sure if the Coco K is more of like a pale pink or a nude kind of colour. Again, I've seen so many different pictures on different skin tones and different lights of what it looks like, so I'm not entirely sure, and until I own them, I don't think I'll ever be sure. 
but let me do a swatch for you. So I'll try and insert a pic of uh, the Coco K swatch somewhere. But yeah, so this one is Petal Liquid Lipstick from Sleep Makeup. They're actually called the Matte Me Ultra Smooth Matte Lip Creams if you want to be specific while you're searching for them. If you don't own these anyway, they're a really nice affordable liquid lipstick. And they have so many other different colours, but these are the ones that I thought would be a good Kylie Jenner lip kit dupe. So yeah, this one is Petal as a dupe for Coco K. So they were my Kylie Jenner lip kit dupes. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments below if you guys know any other better dupes or if you've found something that's literally identical or if you guys have managed to get hold of the Kylie Jenner lip kits yourself, especially the newer ones. Let me know if you found dupes for them. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And leave future requests in the comments below. I always like to read your comments and reply to as many people as I can. But until the next video, I will see you soon. Bye guys. They're super pigmented. I'm in love with that golden shade there. Like I said, a lot of these palettes are really good um, for like smoky eyes and stuff or if you just like the more neutral tones for every day. This one contains a really gorgeous pop of like turquoise.